Thai Prime Minister Prayon Chan Ocha says he, is sees, he sees a promising conclusion to the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP. He adds that if the trade deal is signed, it will clearly show confidence for a rules-based multilateral trading system. Mr. Prayut was speaking at the opening ceremony of the ASEAN Economic Ministers' meeting in Bangkok. Our senior Indochina correspondent, Mei Wong, has been tracking the developments in Bangkok. She joins us now. Uh, Mei, any indication as to how far our progress has been made on RCEP? Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha used the words promising conclusion. Thailand's Deputy Prime Minister as well as Commerce Minister who is leading the charge in the negotiations right now as ASEAN Chair Mr. Turin Laksana Wissat actually said that there are positive negotiations going forward. But I really wouldn't want to jump the gun here simply because many a times the ASEAN leaders have actually said that the deal is on the verge of being signed. But so far, after seven years of negotiations, yet the deal is still unsigned at this stage. That's the reason why Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha actually emphasized the need to lock in this deal, hopefully by the end of this year. Not just because ASEAN is being chaired by Thailand this year, but also he outlined two key benefits, namely for the fact that you will open up huge market opportunities within and among the 16 member nations and also the fact that this deal will help to mitigate the impact currently from the global trade war between the US as well as China right now and that's the reason why he says it's really important to go ahead and sign this deal in order to synergize the trade as well as investment system among the 16 member nations. Now the 16 member nations include ASEAN as well as other trading partners such as India, China as well as Japan and of course that makes up about one third of the global GDP and that is significant also because then you have a lot more more market exchanges, trade investments flowing in and out. More importantly as well, India seems to be the finger, or rather that many of the players are fingering India to be the odd one out because India is reluctant to move on this deal. Number one, I just want to point out that India wants to have market access for its Indian service professionals across all these 16 member nations, but some of the members are pretty concerned about that. And yet another point is that India is also afraid that once they have cuts in their tariffs, a lot of goods will flow into their own country, making it very difficult for their own companies to function. However, Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha says, no man is an island, especially when it comes to trade. สิ่งที่ผ่านที่ถูกคือวันนี้เราเผชิญกับสงครามทางการค้าหรือความพยายามกระดืนเราจะทำอย่างไรในการที่ทำให้อาเซียนเนี่ยอยู่รอดปลอ